Hello. <laughs> there we go. Now it's working. I was so annoyed. I checked my mic, right? Whenever I booted up the game and started the stream, I checked my mic. It was good. I was like, dope. We're ready. Just got to do the, the pre-roll ad thing so we don't have to do one right after we start or anything like that. And then we're good to go. Hit the button. I say hello. I turn and look. My mic thing's not moving. I'm like, what the fuck? Still doesn't move. I check my mic itself. The green light's on. I'm like, what the hell? RTX voice, dude. It's a gift from the gods, but at the same time, it's one of the most annoying things in the world. I don't know why, but sometimes it just randomly crashes and doesn't want to do shit. <laughs> so, quick reboot of RTX voice, and now we're good. I'm pretty sure you can hear me. You said rude mic. So I'm, I'm fairly certain you can hear me. So we should be good to go. I'm going to turn the game down just a little bit. All right, we should be good. Guess who has never seen Metal Gear Solid? Dude, you're not alone. Like, so, okay, I've seen, you know, some videos that people have made about Metal Gear, but I've never actually, like, taken the time to play one. So my background with the game, right, I've mentioned it once or twice. It's a game series I've always been interested in, right? It sounds really cool. It's a very popular franchise. It's made by uh, Hideo Kojima, who obviously is, you know, well-regarded in the video game space and all that stuff. So, like, I think I would like it, but it's also a stealth action game. I'm not a stealth gamer. I don't, I just can't. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why, but me and stealth games usually do not mix. So I'm a little worried that it's gonna like not resonate with me so all that much because I want to like it. I really, really do want to like the Metal Gear franchise. So I'm a little bit worried about tonight. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, fingers crossed, I end up enjoying it and everything will be fantastic. Let's hope. Plus the obvious uh, quotation mark, snake, snake, snake. <laughs> quotation mark yeah i don't know that has something to do with like twitch itself is fine um it must be streamlabs chat thing that they that they have must be broken it did, was doing that yesterday too with like uh, apostrophes and quotation marks and things like that i'm guessing it's a uh, you know the security measure with html certain symbols can uh go wrong <laughs> whenever entered into text chat can basically be used to execute code remotely on servers anyways um so yeah a lot of websites they will break down those symbols into a string right into a, a text string um usually though you would you would check things and make sure okay this is safe let it pass through or whatever i'm guessing they fucked up that security measure somewhere in there and that's why this is happening i don't know it could be something else I have no idea. I'm just guessing here. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it's been doing it since yesterday. Hopefully Streamlabs fixes it soon. Uh, hey, Noodle. Hey, thank you for being here, love. I appreciate that. I think we're pretty much good to go. Okay, so I know nothing about Metal Gear Solid 1. I was kind of hoping Chocobo would be here by now. He's the one who requested that we play this. Uh, because I was hoping to get a little bit of a primer on Metal Gear Solid 1. Because I have no idea what happens in that. But while I was checking out the settings for the game, I did see there's this previous story thing here in special. So I'm hoping that'll give us a little bit of background about what's going on. Because I have absolutely zero clue. No idea at all. Also, how was Sly Cooper? Uh, very good. Very good. I already knew that I love Sly Cooper. So, like, that's no surprise to me or anything like that. Um... But yeah, it's, it's good. It'll be up on the YouTubes eventually if you want to check it out. And of course, it's for a week or whatever on the Twitch VODs. Uh, but yeah, very, very good. Love Sly Cooper. There are other games in the series, so we'll be checking those out eventually um, one of these days. Anyways, let's uh, start with this previous story thing. See, if is this last game something to do with this game? I have no idea. I don't know what this is. In the darkness of Shadow Moses, the unofficial truth, author Natasha Romanenko <laughs> reviewed by George Franklin. Some topics in the recent American past have the immediacy and the power that still engage our collective imagination. Names like The Grassy Knoll or Roswell roll off our tongue with deliberate deliberateness <laughs> holy shit dude reserved by most other nations for holy lands. With this new nonfiction account from Natasha Romanenko, I'm sure I'm butchering that, I'm sorry, Shadow Moses. The scene of a nuclear siege two years ago. 
is set to join their ranks. Official history, I'm butchering that, I'm sorry. Official history states that the takeover of nuclear weapons disposal facility on a lonely outpost in the Fox Islands, Alaska, was the work of a radical right-wing group. Their demands for the release of group members incarcerated in federal penitentiaries were never met, and the incident was speedily resolved by the successful deployment of a commando unit. B.S., the author asserts. Oh, I thought that was like a pair of initials. No, I'm pretty sure they're just saying bullshit. Okay. Uh, Miss Natasha says that she served as an advisor to the Nuclear Emergency Search Team, NEST, and deconstructs what she claims to be a cover-up story by the government with precision. According to the author, Shadow Moses' island was nothing less than the U.S. Army's testing grounds for a top-secret weapon known as Metal Gear Rex, an all-terrain bipedal tank with advanced nuclear capabilities. As for the facility's takeover, Natasha alleges that it was the U.S. military's own shadowy wet works force known as Foxhound that staged an armed insurrection in a bid for Rex's possession. The government responds to this crisis by sending in a lone operative, a former Foxhound. It's, why is there a dash in that? Why didn't they just take it down to the next line? A former Foxhound member known only by the codename Solid Snake into Shadow Moses. His infiltration is aided by a remote mission control team consisting of an unidentified Colonel Campbell, a Foxhound medical chief, Naomi, a radar and electron electronics expert, Mei Ling, supposedly a teenager, and the author herself. Once on the island, Snake joins forces with Metal Gear's developer turned prisoner, Octacon? Otacon to eradicate the weapon of mass destruction. Among the other remarkable characters that make an appearance in Natasha's expo expose is another Foxhound commando, a revolver virtuoso called Shala Shashka, aka Revolver Ocelot. One of the most controversial allegations in the book deals with this figure's connection to a disavowed Russian militia led by a Colonel Gerlukovich. Natasha paints a bleak picture of a thousand-strong, highly disciplined army with nuclear weaponry operating covertly within the American border. Even more irresistible, even or no oh, fuck me, even more irresistible to conspiracy scholars and students of recent history is her thinly veiled suggestion that the whole affair was planned from the beginning by certain forces inside the U.S. government. The U.S. Army and the usual suspect of federal agencies have issued a statement denouncing the book as a complete fabrication. However, with a number of detailed eyewitness accounts that back up the author's assert assertions cropping up daily on the web the denial served more to enhance the book's growing reputation shadow moses is an engrossing read for casual and serious readers alike and promises to involve readers in a meaty debate over the truth of the matter for many years to come taken from the new york mirror and okay yeah now it's it's telling us hey go buy the original game dumbass uh oh shit it continues with more stuff why isn't this just a video or something? Honestly, that's what I thought it was going to be too. I am not reading all 129 pages of this. Someday, we'll just go back and uh, play the original. How about that? Because there is no way I'm reading 129 pages of backstory. Not happening, Kojima. <laughs> yes, 129. Fuck. <laughs> Anyways, okay. New game. Let's get started. Let's hop into it. We're definitely going normal because... Yep, not for me, man. I am not a stealth game dude. Nope. I want to go in guns blazing and just shoot the fuck out of everything. Story is fictional. Any and all similarities to characters, group, or otherwise is purely coincidental. Fair. The Got it. River, two years ago, we had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses had been out in the cold too long. The George Washington Bridge. I'm kind of wondering where the audio went. Is there not supposed to be audio here? Is it meant to be quiet? Did my game break? Snake talks weird. Hello, music. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I'm guessing it's meant to be quiet because everything's playing back super smooth. So I can only assume there's not meant to be any audio here. Plus, they were just talking a moment ago, and that was working just fine. This is a weird intro to a game. Just because it's quiet. If there was music or, or like a voiceover or something, I wouldn't think anything of it. But the fact that it's just completely quiet did... 
did my did something break like <laughs> like now i'm like did my capture card or something break is everything working i'm confused as hell dude uh google is the intro to metal gear solid to silent game we need audio oh wait there's audio S suddenly i'm hearing something wait nope nope yeah no something broke there's supposed to be audio here man that was a that was a youtube video that audio was coming from uh hold on <laughs> technical difficulties <laughs> give me one moment guys we can restart the intro i'm going to uh switch my capture card and uh yeah, or not my capture card, but switch my, my, whatever, BRB. What is going on? Everything seems to be fine. Okay, I'm plugging the capture card. Plugging it back in. Okay. Now... Still not getting audio, so that's not a good sign. Capture card is working. Uh, hmm. Could it be the game? It could be. Let me give it a. Uh, let me give it a good clean. It didn't look bad. I made sure to check it before the stream started, and it honestly, like, it looked pretty decent. But let me, uh, let me give it a good clean, anyways, just in case. It's definitely possible. my rag my my cleaning thing there it is It's weird, too, because, like, everything was working perfectly fine. All the audio and everything in the beginning of the game was perfect. And then as soon as the cutscene hit, as soon as the cutscene hit, it just died. <laughs> that is weird. And I'm still not getting anything. Okay. One last thing I can do. I'll uh, restart the game, make sure that the audio is still working. And then go from there i guess maybe we just had some sort of major glitch the only other thing i can think of is like something in my setup completely busted i'm hoping that's not the case because that would really put a bit of a wrench in tonight's plans 
but that's that's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm going to uh, go to the please wait screen for just a moment. Sorry for the technical difficulties, guys. And we'll uh, we'll be back. Of a college experience. <laughs> So there you go. The dolls came to life, love. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're busy. Sorry, you can't see. Oh, that's right. You said you were crafting. I forgot you said you were uh, doing some crafts down there, love. Yeah, so we get uh, bonuses for pulling off cool combos and stuff like that of uh, certain lengths. And if I remember, I think we might get graded at the end of a level. Putting a question mark on that. I can't remember for sure, but I think think that's right um also this is new wait this all changed this is the same way we came from right <laughs> i know my memory's bad but i don't remember all this being over here a moment ago there are three openings to insert something okay so we need to get three things of some sort can we go up the ladder there's a ladder, but the lid is closed, and you can't go through. Fair enough. Some gross-looking water. And some less gross-looking water. Blue Orb Fragment, also known as the Fragment of Life. But it's only one-fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotcha. This is the chain to wind up the iron lattice gates on the lower floor. It's too heavy to lift, even with my strength. Okay. So, man, we must have made a different turn at some point. Because this is not where I thought we were going to end up at. This game seems like a pound in the ass. It's not uh, it's not that bad from what I remember. But again, long time. Could very well be forgetting. Founder badge, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just got my... Uh, my status, what, a few years ago? Or a few years ago, Jesus, I wish. No, my uh, <laughs> my affiliate status a few months ago is what I meant to say, so you're pretty early in the game. And for as far as the whole PS2 gauntlet thing. Okay, there we go. We're back, hello, sorry guys. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, for some reason, my I think it's my splitter, because I have a cheap splitter that I use, right? Because, you know, it was cheap, and I have a bunch of different consoles hooked up. It just was nice because it was cheap anyways every once in a while whenever switching between sources it stops out putting audio which not that big of a deal it's a little bit of annoying but it gets the job done i've never had it just stop doing audio in the middle of <laughs> something playing though so i don't know what that's about but it seems to be working now so fingers crossed uh now we get to enjoy this cutscene with audio thank thankfully holy shit I'm assuming this is Snake that we're, uh, watching walk around all moody-like. They have cute leggings and nice scarves, too. They got the whole package, huh? <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored by Shop Mortem. <laughs> Whatever the hell that is. Once again, smoking makes them instantly unattractive to you. Yeah, I think that's like in one of the newer games. Isn't that a, a mechanic? Like you get a buff or, or a save or you pass time that way or something. I feel like in one of the new games, smoking was a thing that like you didn't have to do per se. But, you know, you probably wanted to do in game. Also, holy shit, the music is louder than the voices. You have no idea, me neither, honestly. So I know very little about the Metal Gear games other than I've heard a lot of good things about them. Yup, controller's vibrating like hell. So we have Invisible Guy and uh, presumably Guy that we play as. <laughs>
shocking. Literally. I swear. Uh, Hideo Kojima just wanted to make a fucking movie, man. <laughs> like, he just wants to make movies with his life, but they keep making him make video games. Noodle, you should get a scarf. Honestly, I think it would do you well. Your uncle hand knitted you one? That's awesome, dude. Noodle, you should do that, man. You could probably hand knit a scarf. Or crochet a scarf, at least. Maybe not knit. Those are two different things, right? I'm an idiot. I don't really know, but I think those are two different things. Uh, hello? Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. <laughs> wow, such communicator display. Gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about I feel like we've missed a lot from the first game. <laughs> again. But give her a message from me. Someone will find out sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. I guess that probably saved them disk space, right? Not having actual cutscenes, just communicator display thing. Gear transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence but i want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure to the bridge we need to find out where the tanker is headed infinity scarf huh? oh i think i might know what you're talking about rue capabilities deployment method we don't even know how close it is to completion if we know where the testing arena is i can start to draw some reasonable conclusions all right i'll head to the bridge asap Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. I have no Don't idea worry. what they're called, the but we're not terrorists. Very good. If it is what I'm thinking it is, I'm pretty sure that's what my cousins called it before. An was an Infinity scarf. And officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. You think Noodle's right? Yeah. I think she is too, honestly. All right, let's look I am gear. far from a uh, scarf a expert, though. <laughs> from a M92F. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good okay, I'm not controlling him right now, okay? <laughs> in a few seconds and last for hours. Peak you with L2. Elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects Jump out of the shot. Will vary depending on what part of R1. The oh hit, god, it's throwing up so many things so quickly. Limbs, chest, or head. First person R1 plus square. As okay, hold on. Oh god. Hey, snake. What's Cigarettes. going on? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the <laughs> Cigarettes, highly form. addictive and hazardous to your health. Uh <laughs> Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. Low in the dark Scooby crossbody? That sounds pretty dope. <laughs> bad snake, bad. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice upstanding marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught, you're in stealth mode here. Sure. And if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otto. Does so that mean we have sure non-lethal force right now? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please. I'm too good for that. 
but this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships yeah, we had a bit of a technical harbor, difficulty <laughs> and had to restart the intro. Would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too Also, high. hello, Chocobo. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Which, what Saturday side's the stern? Major They've lost me already. Days. I'd say the cargo holds safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. It's eighty dollars, but Scooby, but small, but need <laughs> the confliction. Uh, that guy doesn't look very nice. So this suddenly went from a stealth mission to a, hey, don't worry about killing people mission. First go to top, then go to bottom. Awesome. That's all I need to know. Honestly, more than I expected. When he said it's uh, ran by a computer, I was thinking he was going to say, like, you know, three. <laughs> okay. Oh, nope. Not yet. Not yet. Still intro. Russians? You sure? No Marine Barber touched that head of hair. Yep. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Okay. Now I'm going to be completely lost with the controls too. It flashed them all up on screen. But it was way too fast for me to, to, to soak in. So you hold forward to take a peek around the wall. Hold a button. I think L1 and square to go first person shooting. Oh god, I'm so fucked. It's fine. We'll figure it out. It's first mission. It can't be that bad, right? And we're only on normal mode. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? Right. <laughs> no promises. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency is 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.9. You can help me out. Thank God. Sorry, no <laughs> Snap one, be Call sneaky. On oh, you lost me already. <laughs> I'll be waiting just past the bridge. Sneaky's not my uh, forte, man. <laughs> We're going to try, though. Legit. We're going to try. I'm assuming it remembers those radio frequencies for us as well, and we're not going to have to do that. Okay, so we run around in the way that you would expect. We hold up against it. Okay, yeah, to, to like snap to it. Got it. And if we get to a corner, we can hold, what was it, square? Square to peek around. And then R1 goes into this mode. Got it. Uh, oh, how do we switch? Okay. So that's how we switch weapons, is with R2. Should probably, I don't know, M9 with Tranks seems decent. And that's how we switch our other thing. Okay, that, that actually makes sense. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm assuming, is there a way to like look around R1? Okay, yeah, R1 lets us go into first person mode so we can get a better look of our surroundings. Very nice. All right, I think we're okay. We can see from our radar that there's someone up top there. And according to Chocobo, up top is kind of where we need to go. Some bandages. Very cool. Are we being loud when we're running around? The map is important. Yeah, I get that. I get that feeling. 
Oh, hi. <laughs> I kind of expected him to do something. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Oh, does it like auto lock on to? Oh, that shot a fire or yeah, fired a shot. Okay. We're, we're fine. Everything's fine. Wet footprints make more noise. Dude, that's kind of, that's kind of awesome. Is there a way to crouch? There's got to be a way to crouch, right? Like to, if I want to crouch behind this here. Select. Okay, that brings up that. What's start do? Tells us where we're at. Fair. And here you're a constant stealth ar archer assassin in the Dark Brotherhood. In uh, Skyrim, I, I've played a stealth archer a few times too. And like it works well, right, in Skyrim. But I'm just, I don't know, stealth games though, I've just never been any good at. Like at all. All right, how do we actually get up top? I'm assuming we're going to have to actually go around to get up top. Can we, like... Oh, X. X crouches. Very cool. Okay. Is there a way to go over... Triangle. Triangle jumps up. Okay. Uh, I don't know what just happened there. Sounded almost like we took damage or something. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, you know what? We're just going to go up top. I'm sure everything will be fine. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> uh, there's a guy. I'm scared of the guy. Can you go back to where you were? So I can maybe, like... I'm assuming one's enough to take them out, right? Yes, okay. Now, do we need to do anything once they're down? Like, I'm assuming hiding them is a thing that we can do. Push the action button down in front of the door and wait until the door opens before letting go. If okay. You open the door faster, hit the action button repeatedly while you turn the handle. I'm assuming sure that'll make more noise, though. The doors open. So I'm assuming holding button is nice and quiet. Hitting button repeatedly is probably loud but fast. Is there, like, can we knock him out? Is he going to wake up? What's the action button? Triangle. Okay. Got it. We're fine. Everything's fine. Throw them off the boat. Oh, that would make sense. A little late now. <laughs> Good tip for later, though. Okay. Um. Oh wait, there's something under there. I wanna, I wanna get whatever that is. Bullets. Yes, please. Uh, I see a shadow. Maybe hide. If you pick people up and drop them, they drop items. That's very neat. Okay. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> I'm trying to stay on this wall. Uh, okay. <laughs> why Why is he not going down? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, how do you pick people up? <laughs> I'm not trying to shoot. Uh, try L1 to lock on and hold them up. Okay. I don't know how to pick them up. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. We're so fucked. <laughs> All right. You know what? It's probably time to just fucking get the hell out of here. <laughs> there like a way to see around this corner there we go okay oh good you got a shield yep i think <laughs> is there a restart i think we're fucked oh god <laughs> oh you have to unequip your gun oh okay that that makes sense i wish i could see around this corner um but i can't maybe it would be better to let him come like over here there we go what are you, are you, did you just wake him up? Don't wake him up. <laughs> oh God. Yep, I'm just gonna let us die. It's fine. We'll start the mission over again. <laughs> oh, that's going, it's going well so far. It's going well. <laughs> there you go. There's your snake, snake, snake. <laughs> that's what you were waiting for, right? The uh, rule? It's all right. Okay. It's fine. We're learning things. <laughs> All right, so. All right, so to pick people up, we have to unequip our weapon. Everything's fine. Okay, 
And some people don't go down in one shot. That's important to know. Now, last time he came all the way up. But maybe it's because I was so far over. Okay, one is enough to get him. Okay, now unequip our weapon. Unequip weapon. Press L1. L1's not doing anything. Square, though. Square, okay. Because square's the, square's the action button. Like, to, to shoot and stuff, so... Headshots are faster. That, yep, makes sense, honestly. <laughs> Rue is very disappointed in you. Noodle just told me something. Wait, what? I have no idea what's going on right now with you two. Stream, I'm gonna slap you. I'm confused. I don't know what's part of what. All I know is I feel like I need to hide this guy. Oh, I didn't like Hocus Pocus? No, I did not like Hocus Pocus. Don't care for that movie, like, at all. Honestly. Hey, we got a bandage. Cool. You fool. <laughs> Alright, so I'm, I'm, I think this, this hallway is safe. Can I get... I don't... Okay, so my one complaint so far... D-pad does work. That's nice. Is that the controls kind of get shifted. So, like, right now I have to press left to move right and right to move left. So that's uh that's 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 one problem that I'm having so far with the game. But I imagine you can probably get used to that. This big room in the center looks like it would be important for some reason. Do we go in? Okay, I heard something. I thought like we passed a security checkpoint or something poorly. I want in square auto lock. If you're behind an I don't know how far that dude's going to come. If you're behind an enemy, they put their hands up. Oh, L1 and square. Okay. Um, how do I not shoot now that I've pulled the gun up? Is there any way to like, and then R1 lets me aim myself. I guess I could probably like unequip the gun. That would do it. Yeah. Okay, we should probably keep the gun out most of the time though, I imagine. How far is he gonna come? Right there. So we can probably take him out. I don't see anyone else on the on the map. Let go of square slowly. It's janky though. Yeah, I can I can imagine that would be janky. Okay, so it's not auto locking in this case. It might be because I had like pulled it up whenever he uh wasn't over here. But either way, I think we just stand right here and wait for him to come up. Uh, oh shit. You have to let go of square to shoot. That's, <laughs> that's how it works in this game. It's fine. We got this. Got to get used to the controls. Okay, he's coming back. This should be right around his head. Yeah. There we go. Take a nice little nap now. Uh, L1 is for third person. Got it. Well, I was holding L1 and then square, but I don't know. I'm sure I fucked it up. You know much, much more about this game than I do, obviously. Of ration? I mean, okay, I don't think dropping him there is really going to help us all that much, but oh well. Can you hide inside, like, the lockers and stuff? Oh. You can. Or, ah, nice. Okay. I thought that would be a thing, given the fact that, you know, it's a stealth game and all, but... I wasn't positive. I'm assuming it's probably possible to hide bodies in there as well. I think we just did a complete circle. Yes, we did. If you hide bodies in them, they won't recover. Oh, wait. So these bodies are going to recover? I I mean, I thought that they might, but I kind of hope not. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just leave the area. I'm sure, I'm sure it won't go poorly. <laughs> All right, so we got one guy right away that we're probably going to want to get downed. Oh, I got to worry in my camera here. There we go. Uh, <laughs> you heard nothing? Go to sleep? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, we're fine. Let's get rid of you real quick. 
because I can only assume that there's gonna be other people here. In fact, I just saw a hint of someone over there. So we'll just we'll just we'll just sit you right here by the door. Uh, I don't know if I can get that. I don't think I can get that. <laughs> I didn't mean to drop that outside of the the thing. Also, we're crawling on the ground now. I have no idea what's going on, man. I'm so fucked. Oh god. Oh good, he's still there. Whatever he dropped, I doubt it was that important. It'll be fine. Shh, okay. Gotta be quiet. Sneaky. I'm glad they don't actually, like, use a microphone or anything to, to monitor people in these games, because that would be bad for me. Alright, you said go up and then go down, so I'm thinking let's go this way. A stun grenade very cool does this do anything no okay I thought maybe we could like shut power off to the next area or something sing mode what the hell am I supposed to sing and punishment for what what did I do <laughs> oh because of hocus pocus all right well get ready for five minutes of ABC's because there's no way I'm thinking and doing anything else a, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> this is uh, what you do to me. Hocus Pocus ain't that good. I'm not sorry. It's really not. Uh, it's an okay movie at best. I can't think and sing, even if it's a test. Uh, can I maybe do something with this guy? Oh god, I'm fucked. Yep. Shit. I thought maybe I could like choke him out, but it didn't work, so fuck, we're screwed. <laughs> oh god. Okay. It maybe if we run away, we'll be safe. I, uh, fuck. <laughs> Go to the engine room entrance and, uh, uh, fuck. Nope, they're waiting for us. Uh, we're getting shot. Fuck, we're done. <laughs> God. <laughs> maybe this is when we use a real gun. <laughs> I think maybe if we stay here, nope, it's not gonna work. Okay, yep, we are done. I can't, uh, uh, fuck. <laughs> I, oh. Oh, hi. Well, answer the call, maybe it'll have something that'll help. I doubt it, but maybe this really isn't even singing. I'm sorry. Besides that, the blood stains could put the enemy on your trail. The only way to stop the bleeding for good is to let your body recover until the life gauge is green. Rations are the best way to do that. Try to crouch down or assume crawl position and stay still while you're bleeding. Your life will recover bit by bit. I'd recommend that you stay in hiding until the bleeding stops, if possible. Uh, about that guy, I don't think that that will work, uh, because I stink. Snake, you okay? Snake! Snake! At least it saved when we got here. That's a bonus. Uh, but we have no life. How do I use my rations that I picked up? Uh, 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 I don't know. Ooh. How do we use these things that we chose in our left hand? I guess I could put away the gun. Uh, old McDonald had a farm. I can't <laughs> think and sing. <laughs> At the same time. Circle doesn't do anything. Triangle either. That's a fact. 
L1, nothing. L2, two. Maybe we... Ah. Yay. Okay, we are out of the rations now. Um, Crawling like this is a foul. Mm -hmm. Don't go out the door, it's bad. Crawling probably is too. <laughs> Oh, I hate you all. What the hell is USP? Is that a weapon or something? I really wish that I could see out this door. That would help. I'm assuming a guy will come around any moment. So I shall sit and wait for him to do it. Uh, let go of square slowly. Oh, it worked. Time's up. I'm sorry. That was terrible. But I really can't think and do anything at the same time. It just doesn't work. Oh, that's a staircase. Again, this is your punishment. They're not good movies. <laughs> I didn't like Edward Scissorhands. No. I didn't like Beetlejuice. I didn't like Hocus Pocus. To be fair, I don't think any of them are terrible movies. I just don't think any of them are good movies either. Like, they're, they're passable at best movies. Can I maybe... Okay, so it's locked on. But we were told headshots are king. So maybe if we do that and then we can slowly sneak down. Put away our gun. I'm assuming there's no one else around that we need to worry about right now. Okay, it does look like, yeah, I see a shadow. So I'm assuming that means there's another person the next level down that we need to watch out for. I'm not going to drag him all the way back up to the top where there's a <laughs> where there's a, a thing that we can put him in. A closet. A locker. That's what they're called. You fool. I don't know what to tell you, man. They're just not good. There's a lot of movies I don't like, especially old movies. There's just not that many of them that I thought were all that interesting, to be honest with you. Like, maybe for the time they were good or something like that, but these days, there's just, in my opinion, much better things that I could spend my time watching than, than you know, Beetlejuice or Edward Scissorhands or whatever. Okay, so L1 and Square. Wait, is, are his hands up? No. Why why are I, why aren't I aiming at him? Oh, because I was going to be hitting the 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 wall. I guess I just take you out. Is someone else staring at you? I don't think so. I think we're good. What are the two type of Well, actually, you know what? This section right here doesn't even seem all that bad of a place to leave you. You're kind of out of the way. I don't think anyone can see, but we'll drag you off to the side over here. To really get you out of your way. Plus, I'm assuming, as we've been told, you'll drop something, which would be nice. Uh, you did not. That's fine, though. How do we get that over there? Maybe once we get to the other side? Oh, jeez. I, I saw the blinking red dot on the map, and I got really worried. No, that's the dude that I dropped upstairs earlier. That's fine. Okay, um... Nobody else on the map. We're fine for now. Oh, if they don't drop something, you can just pick them back up. Uh, hello, guy? I was told you would give me things. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, that's a really good hint, though, because that seems like a solid way to get uh, ammo and stuff like that. Mostly ammo and rations, though. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know anything about the game, but I'm assuming running out of those two things in the middle of a mission would be really bad. <laughs> so I will gladly take my ammo and or rations. 
Uh, we don't have a weapon equipped. Maybe that's why we're not looking around the corner. Oh, God. Don't just run out like that. Okay. L1 and square. Okay, there's no one... No one over here. So gently let go of square. That is jank. Every time I do that, I feel like I'm going to fire off when I don't mean to. So where is this guy? He must be above us. That's the only other thing that makes sense. Oh, shit. There's someone down there. Um, I'm just not going to go down there. Okay. Nope. He might hear me. Is there any way I can get you from down here? I could probably... Yeah, no, no, no. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, he's looking the other way. That one in square. I would prefer to... Aim myself. GG. You're down. Get fucked. Mr. Russian soldier dude. Gonna, just gonna drag you over to the way a little bit. He's just tired, man. He, he He's had a long day, you know, of uh, abducting this random ship. Guys, you kind of got permission from Nana. He kept saying no, but then he said I was crazy, so I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, the, I'm assuming you're talking about the Scooby-Doo backpack. You totally should get it, man. You obviously love it. Like, why not, you know? Well, can we get you from down here? Uh, it'd probably help if we had the weapon out, though. Uh, hi. Uh, go to sleep. Go, no, go to sleep. Okay, he's asleep. Oh, good. And although we took a shot, he didn't set off an alarm or anything like that. So, I think we're okay. There's a door. I'm going to go through it and hope that it does something for us. Please, game. Oh, God. That, I don't think this is a checkpoint. That's, that's... Not good. I was I was really hoping for a checkpoint. Okay, I don't think there's... Oh, I was going to say I don't think there's anyone in here. Hello? Oh, hi. Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol of the small room on the port side. Um... Do we have, uh, shit, lockers? Yep, I would love to. Where are the lockers? In the back. Okay. S uh, square? I'm in the locker. Close the damn door. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, God. It's fine. I'm sure he didn't see me go into the locker here. Oh. I can, I can hear and feel my heart beating. In game and in real life. I feel like we got the worst locker because I have no idea where he's at. Do we dare? I think we have to open it. And then M9. Okay, yeah. He's not appearing on the on the map, so I'm I'm assuming he's gone. Is he maybe over here somewhere? Okay, I think, I think we're safe for now. It's even better that it's... If your current wallet doesn't fit, your friend got me a foldable Scooby wallet. That's awesome. Don't go in the other... So don't go down this way. Go through the door. The one that he came out of. I think that's what you're saying. Okay. Engine room entrance port. Dope. <laughs> no, don't go up. Okay. So, where we're at now, don't go up the stairs here is what you're saying? I'll be I'll be honest, I'm a little bit confused. It's fine. It's fine. If I see any stairs, I'm just going to ignore them and <laughs> pretend they don't exist. <laughs> That's my plan. Oh, we got a call. Hello. Snake, wait. Don't move. What? Look at the walls on both sides of the hall. I see something. Infrared sensors? Oh. Right. And they're linked to... Let me guess. Semtex. Exactly. Plastic explosives. 
If you that thing. The sensors, <laughs> I'll be sleeping with fishes along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but there are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a Got way it. through. Got it. Okay. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's yes. That's the control unit for the sensors. Okay. Do we shoot it? Destroy that, and the <laughs> we do shoot it. Okay. You can't awesome. Get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. Fallout has taught me well. But your M9's knockout rounds won't work. Find a gun somewhere. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Need a need a real gun with some real ammo. Um, guessing that's what the USP is. It's probably a gun. Not in that locker. Locker with the with the pretty lady. <laughs> and the back of a pretty lady. Okay. <laughs> of course. Yep. That's that's how you decorate your locker right there. Uh okay, so that's USP ammo. Both of those. So do we have to go up here to get a gun? Crouch in the second locker. Wait, what? <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. What is... I'm really curious now. What the hell is crouching going to do? Crouch and then R1. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So crouch is X and then R1... Or do you mean the second, the one without the lady? Is that the one you mean? <laughs> I'm thinking maybe you mean the one without the lady. The one with the guy in it. What's this one? The second locker that we can actually enter. Maybe it's the wrong locker. Okay, yeah, I think, it, I think it's the wrong locker. Mooch? Uh, you're a mooch, dude. That lady just offended me. All right, where the hell is... We need a real gun, though, to go any farther. So the only way I can think to go is back, which I'd rather not do, or forward. So I guess we're going to go forward. And holy hell, I just looked over, and it is after 1 o'clock. I mean, that's a good sign. I, I'm enjoying the game enough that time is flying by, so that's good. Um, but before we, like, die to this dude right here at the top of the Deck A Crew Lounge... Let's take our break. <laughs> we're going to we're going to take just like a 3 to 5 minute break guys. Run the ad so that we don't have to do it in the middle of the gameplay. I'm going to get a drink cuz I'm pretty thirsty and then we'll be back so you can watch me die more most likely. I'm not good at stealth games. <laughs> BRV guys. This is right around game 50. Snacks are an excellent option. I'm sorry exactly for the double stream. I just had to say that. Uh, right around 50. A few years ago, yeah. <laughs> oh, If only I had taken streaming seriously whenever I first got into it, when I was like 18, then uh, who knows, man, what would be possible right now. But, oh, that's right. We came up the stairs is where we actually came from. What are all these noises? I'm guessing that's the enemies that are up here. If I could jump up there. I mean, I don't really think we need to fight them, though. But, ah, screw it. Whatever. We get stuff for fighting them, right? Experience and shit. Love how you joined at God of War and you were, like, two months in. It was, like, instant fun time. Yeah, man. It was a good stuff. I mean, it helps that God of War is just an insanely good game, too. And then, of course, you had uh, Nate to bullshit with about all the anime and whatnot that we were talking about at the time. So, <laughs> this music is fucking rocking. No kidding, man. Got a great metal soundtrack to it. Speaking of metal, I was surprised. I was watching the uh, Gran Turismo 7 trailer, and uh, I saw that Bring Me the Horizon. I don't know if any of you guys are fans, but they made a track for Gran Turismo 7, which uh, isn't something that I expected at all. You know, BMTH in a Gran Turismo game, but I'm here for it. And uh, they are more than welcome to include all the BMTH music they would like in that game. Because I love the Gran Turismo series. 
or at least the uh, the ones that I played. And I love the MTH, so hell yeah, dude. Love how there were no enemies at first, and now they are everywhere. Yeah, no kidding, man. All over the damn place. Okay, so it must have been this door that we came through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the one I was thinking of. So the door upstairs opens this gate, but we can't get there yet. We did get a rusty key, though, so we can go back here, go through this door, if we could get around this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't remember how we switch weapons. If we have to come in here and do it. This weapon is currently equipped. There we go. And then... Oh, okay. So, <laughs> it's equipped, but how do we shoot it? R1? Nope. R2? That's just taunt. L2? Nothing. Directional keys. Directional keys don't appear to do anything. Yep. I mean, it says they're equipped. I'm sure we... Oh, there we go. Uh. Okay, it seems like we can only shoot the guns while we're in air. <laughs> I don't... I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember at all. But I have a rusty key now. I know. It's amazing, ain't it? <laughs> you love a bay. You actually only ever heard their son paternal album before that during the early days of high school yeah their i mean their uh early music was a bit rough imo but still very good um at least in my opinion you know i really liked it their newer stuff is also really good but they they kind of went on a bit of a poppy kick for a moment um and then brought it back to some of the heavier stuff their last album was really good it had a lot of video game inspired stuff in it like uh they did a game or a a song called parasite eve based off of you know, are inspired by that video game. They did a song with Amy Lee. That one's pretty good. Uh, Baby Metal. They did a song with Baby Metal, which I think is really cool. Um, what else? Oh, they did a Resident Evil inspired song. Like, they did a lot of a lot of cool shit on that album, in my opinion. Definitely worth giving a listen. And I'm pretty sure they're working on doing another album. No idea when it's gonna come out, but you know. Man, I, I could have swore... Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> we just got strung up like the marionettes there for a second. That was that was a thing. All right. Let's get back over. There we go. Hello, guys. We are back. Catch my breath. Just ran up the stairs. Had to get some water. I was completely out. It was a tragedy. All right. <clears throat> While we give everyone a moment to, to pile back in after the break... Uh, just a quick reminder, we do have round two of the poll going on for the new stream niche. I think most people that are our regulars here have already voted on it, but for anyone who hasn't, there is the link, so feel free to go in there. Remember, you can pick up to two games. You don't have to, but you can pick up to two, well, categories, not individual games. And after that one's finished, we'll be doing round three. That'll be the last round. And whichever one gets picked is what we'll be streaming once a week from now on. So uh, pick well, guys. No wrong answers, though. I like uh, all of the categories. Otherwise, I wouldn't have included it. I think all of them will be a fun time. But uh, yeah, I just want to know what you guys want to see. Hey, Nate. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. You didn't fill the thing, did you? Yes, I filled the, the, the water thing, if that's what you're asking about. I don't think anyone's... Wait, is he sleeping? He is sleeping. So is there, like, a way to take him out while he's sleeping? <laughs> I mean, I guess we can just hit him with the, the dart. That's one option. Okay, so... Shoot him quick. Uh, excuse me? Ah, fuck, we're fucked. I thought I had got him. Uh, okay, another guy's gonna see him, and that's not gonna be bad. Or, that's not gonna be bad. That's not gonna be good. Uh, okay, slowly let up on that. Yep, they see me. Uh, L1, uh, duh. No, don't tell him that there's an enemy sighted. Enemy not sighted. Ah, oh, shit. He see me? <laughs> uh, I think we're fucked. 
Hopefully there was a, a, uh, a checkpoint recently. Hi. Nope. Okay, everyone's down. Hopefully there's just no one else in the area and we got everyone. Do we have any more rations? Are the rations out? <laughs> we have a little bit of rations. Okay, it's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> We're in evasion mode. I don't think there's anyone around here for us to evade, per se. It's gonna be fine. You went to that reunion thing? How was it? Noodle decided not to go. I uh, have no reason to go. Why? Is this guy, like, disgusting or something? Why is there, like, a shit ton of flies? Did he, did he shit himself? <laughs> I'm confused here. Uh, it looks like he's completely surrounded in flies. Uh, okay, we need the weapon. Uh, go down, please. I shot you twice. Go down. Damn it. Go down. Oh, 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 oh. He gross? Yeah, I... I got, I got that feeling. Um, okay, the auto aim is kind of fucking us there. Like, I didn't even think I hit him, but whatever. All right, is that everyone? Hopefully that's everyone. Do they just keep spawning? He's got to be real gross to have that many fucking flies following you around, dude. Like, holy shit. Okay, let's at least get them out of the hallway. There's another one. Why are these guys so gross, man? Or oh, I'm gross, aren't I? It's me. Are the flies following me around? They are following me around. Bro, that's nasty. How the fuck do I clean myself? Uh I I don't I don't like this. <laughs> uh okay, hold on. That's not real cover. There's somebody there. I need, I need weapon. I need weapon. Uh. Uh, no, you don't need help. You're dead. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, why do I suck so bad? Okay. Let's get him away from here. We got to see a lot of people, or you got to see a lot of people that your buddies got served rolls by the mayor along with a beer. Roast with uh, your class. Very cool. I think that dinging is because we have, like, no health. Which, honestly, fair. Um, <laughs> this room is just covered in people now. A backup team is on their way to the stairs? How about no? Is that an option? Wait a second. Why am I losing health? Is it because I'm so fucking gross right now? Is that why I'm losing health? Alright. We don't seem to be losing health anymore, at least. That's good. You also got free donuts. That's awesome. Everyone likes free donuts. It's gonna be some bad news when they wake up. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh god. I need I just need a gun, a real gun. I don't know where the real gun is. It's fine. Everything is fun. Hack team come back at once. Alert team, stay alert. Uh no. <laughs> Top of ship. So wait, oh, so do I need to like go back outside and go all the way to the top is what you're saying? Okay. Did they wake back up whenever I, I left that little area? I like the way he quickly walks upstairs. That was neat. You know, it seems like everyone's still knocked out for the time being at least. Oh, there's a way from the inside? Oh god. Nope, they're starting to wake up. Um I think we'll go the other way. Cruise quarters on the starboard side. Is there like a larger version of the map we can visit? 
That's just the save and talk to talk to dude. Snake. I forgot circle and X are backwards. Oh, cool. We can make steam. That's a cool hint, I guess. What's this door? No, get off the ground, snake. What are you doing, man? That's locked? Okay. I hear footsteps. Ooh. Hold on. Lockers? People like to keep things in lockers. What? No. Open the locker. Oh, hi. <laughs> Is this the one that we need to crouch inside and then... Does it does it always make that sound? Whenever we we hit the button or is that maybe it always makes that sound. I'm sure I'm sure it's fine. Next locker. Open open the locker, please. Uh <laughs> You came back at an interesting time. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, that one's locked. Nothing in that one. I'm sure since you told us to go to the top, there's no guns in here, but I feel like I need to check all of the... Oh. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> I think I think maybe the guys on this ship were a little bit lonely. I, I get a feeling that that's the case. <laughs> uh. Okay, this is the same room just over here. Pull out a weapon, that would be handy. No, don't go. Why are you going in there? Go up against the wall. Oh, okay, just deep breaths. Everything's fine. They only know there's there's a guy on the ship trying to murder them. That's all they know. Uh, we missed. Did we get him in the, the leg, or did we miss entirely? I think we shot between his legs. I thought... Excuse me. I Why is the auto-aim not doing anything? <laughs> okay, we're fine. I guess shooting them in the leg wasn't good enough, which, I mean, fair, honestly. A lot of pervs, really. I mean, originally this was, what, a marine ship? They're probably just lonely. <laughs> it's weird that they all have Asian women in their, uh, in their lockers, but... I guess, uh, I guess they just, they have a type, man. It can take a few seconds, I'm noticing. Was this back, this is back outside. Probably not where we want to go then. But since we're out here, this is another way to the top of the ship, right? And at least so far, it seems like a safer way. They, that's below me, right? Those dots? I mean, I don't see anyone. Oh yeah, okay, I see down there. Oh shit. Uh, hold on, pull, pull out a gun. Shit. 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 No, don't send reinforcements. Okay. Um, let's get him uh, away from everyone else. <laughs> Nothing's going on. Everything is fine. No, we didn't. There's nothing going on here. Nothing to see. Nothing going on. Why are you not dropping anything? There we go. Thank you. Who's the backup unit? Where is the backup unit? Okay. There's the backup unit. Um, get a gun out, just in case. Unable to locate the AWOL soldier. Nothing else to report. Oh, thank God. Okay. I think we're good. Give him a second to do whatever he's got to do. Go wherever he's got to go. 
All right. I think... I think we're good. Honestly, I probably should have started the game on easy mode. Just knowing my history with stealth games, that probably would have been smarter, man. Oh, damn. I was hoping there would be, like, a door or something around here. Okay, was there... I think there was a door on the other side, though, right? Or maybe, like, one layer down on the other side? I don't remember. I'm just pretty sure I saw a door somewhere. Yeah, right here. That's not the one we came out of, right? I don't think it is. Damn, it's closed. Okay. Never mind. Going back up and around. Maybe door on the other side will be open. I have no idea how long these trank darts work for, but uh, <laughs> hopefully it's a while. Alright, where... So you're down bottom, right at the bottom of the stairs, it seems. Can I get you from, like, here? Can I, like, go all the way down? No, I could get you... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I got him in the head. I did. Dope. Alright. Uh, just stand up, Snake. What are you doing? Maybe pick him up and get him out of very clear view. And only into, like, somewhat clear view. <laughs> Ooh, what are you? A bandage. That'd probably come in handy. Ration as well. Do we need rations at the moment? What's our life at? Yes, we do. What are the bandages? Absorbent pads to stop blood loss from bleeding. Okay. Is that whenever we're all, like, stinky and gross is whenever we're bleeding? Because that would make some level of sense, honestly. Deck B cruise quarters on the starboard side. This looks very familiar to where we were before. Is this the same damn place that we were before? <laughs> Did we just make a big circle? I think we just made a big damn circle. Fuck me, dude. Uh, no, don't. Oh, we can quick select things by tapping. <laughs> I'm assuming that means yes, we done fucked up. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna leave him. I will, I will do the pickup thing, though. Try to, at least. Get something out of him. Bandages. Very nice. Alright, so... Yeah, that just goes to the two starboard sides. This door... We need a hand scanner, so we can't do shit there. We know there's gonna be someone over here. That we can shoot from right here. Oh, you moved at, like, just the wrong time. Do you want to peek your head around a little bit? There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you listening to me there, bud. That was awesome. Excuse me, sir. I would like if you drop stuff, sir. Sir, please. Don't make this harder on yourself or me. Just, just drop your thing. Maybe they only drop things once. Okay, yeah, I give up. Okay, we've been in that locker. There's nothing in there. I feel like there's another guy around here somewhere that we need to be careful of. Cruise Lounge. This is... Okay, that's, yeah, that's this place. We'll go back in there in just a moment. I want to finish exploring back around here. Can we go up here? No, we cannot. The previous room? Okay. Left side. So in here, cross over to here? Oh. Current room. 
Okay, and I can't I can't interface with this door in any way. You're a little behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stream lag. So I'm, I've been in this room for a moment. Is this the room? I'm not gonna go anywhere. Is this the room that you're trying to tell me to go into? Wish we could like unlock this door for later use. That would be handy, but I don't think there's any way to do anything with it. The previous room. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it. I didn't really want to shoot that. It's fine. Okay, this one, left side. Ring room. I don't know what ring room means. Hopefully that makes some amount of sense once I see it. Oh. <laughs> There's a fucking... The staircase didn't have anything in it. Cool. Yep. That was... <laughs> Got it. Thanks, man. Lord knows how long I would have ended up searching for that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, where's this guy at? I can see someone on the map. Oh, it's the camera. And I'm going to assume my dart gun isn't uh, capable of taking out a camera. So I'm just gonna stay close to this wall. And there we go. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, check the locker. For chaff G, whatever that is. Keep going up, why not? I was told top of ship, I'm gonna try to get to the top of this fucking high. Fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, God. What do you want? I feel like this is a bad time to answer a call. Snake, there's another set of infrared sensors in place. If you touch that, the explosives will detonate and that ship will be pulverized. Don't touch the sensors. Got it. There aren't that many infrared beams. Can we Maybe crawl under it? Past those without setting off the explosives. But we can crawl under it. If you need to see exactly where the beams are, you can use the usual method. Cigarettes. There's a fire extinguisher over there. Oh, Break sure. And try <laughs> that too, I guess. <laughs> uh, so where are these infrared beams? They're not here. Where's this fire extinguisher at, too? Ooh. What's that? We'll just go. We'll just go down for a moment while we wait for that guy to to kind of reset, get his get his shit together. So fresh and so clean, clean. Congrats. I'm happy. I'm happy for you. Did your shower go well? Did you have a nice shower? Hey, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Okay, try not to open the door, or not. That's fine, too. Where? I don't even know where these infrared beams... Are. Oh, right there. Okay. So, I wonder... Oh, yeah, new month? Hey, it is a new month. You're right. Uh, I feel like we should take you out first. Uh, don't go in the beams, though. That would be bad. All right, wait for this guy to come back over. Take him the hell out, and then... Again, I don't think my dark gun's gonna be good enough for that, but... Can try, though. Oh, it is. Dope. Okay, yeah, yeah. It looks like if we crawl... On the left side... We'll be okay. Hell yeah, dude. Professional mercenary guy here. May or not have almost fell when I, you were getting your towel. Good job, love. <laughs> uh, Google server satisfied recently adopted new cats, so no Maine Coon kitties. No, no Maine Coon kitties right now. 
We'll get one someday, damn it, but not right now. I'm really glad that we got somewhere in this mission before uh, <laughs> the time's up. Because, <laughs> fuck. I am not good at these games. I'm so sorry. It's much better than other stealth games that I've played, though. I will say that much. Like, it's actually... Like, for instance, what was that fucking game that we played? So it is the Kasaka. Uh... Russian choppers. Fuck, I can't remember the name of it, but we played it a month ago at this point. It was a stealth boss. Boss? Fuck, I'm reading chat. A stealth, uh, action game. What the fuck was it called? That's gonna annoy the shit on me that I can't remember. Anyways, point is, we did not have fun with it at all. At least I didn't. This game is at least fun. Siphon filter. Thank you. Yeah. Now, in the defense of that game, it was like a PSP ported to the PS2 siphon filter game. So maybe the other ones will be a little bit better. Um, but this so far <laughs> is much better than my experience with that game. Much better. I don't hate it. Not at all. I'm actually finding it kind of fun. I think the, the incremental checkpoints, too, as you're, you're exiting and entering rooms and things helps a lot. Um, whenever you're bad at a game like me, having those little checkpoints, huge help, man. Huge. And we're on normal mode. We could go on easy or very easy if I really wanted to be a, a baby about it, but <laughs> gonna try not to do that, though. No siphon voters, just bad. <laughs> All right, got it. Did you find out where that ship is headed? <laughs> it's just bad. I love that. Degrees longitude. Latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area you got all that just from the, the area that range they're sending it? It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, Ooh. analysis can wait till later. Snake. You need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal. <laughs> Not naked. Looks like they're wearing orange jumpsuits. The game is two parts. The tanker is more stealth. The next section is more action. Very cool. <clears throat> yeah, I've heard that that um, Metal Gear isn't like a full-on stealth game. It definitely has a lot of stealth elements, but that it's not exclusively stealth. Why did we just sneeze? <laughs> uh, what was up with that? All right, we still never found a real gun though, which is a little bit worrying, especially if we're gonna be fighting a boss. <laughs> I'm a little worried that our, 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 our little thing that we got, a uh, tranquilizer gun isn't gonna be enough to take it down. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, they have the gun. Okay. <laughs> control room, communications, and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen. Once we have what we thought it was a shirtless old dude. What the the hell? <laughs> I know PS2 graphics aren't the best in the world, but I don't know where you got shirtless old dude. <laughs> no, it's not over yet. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with a unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? Ah, oh, dude, that just makes me feel like shit. You will be on the helicopter out of here now. Damn it. I... Is there a non-lethal way to take her down? I kind of... <laughs> uh <laughs> Freeze. Hands over I don't head. think she's gonna freeze. Toss your gun overboard slowly. Uh. 
I love the cheesy action voice that Snake has, and then, uh, you know, of course, the Russians have got to be the bad guy because, yeah. Olga Gerlokovich. I said to move. Americans, so you shoot women too. I'm a nomad too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. Not there. Toss it overboard. I don't care so fucking anime. <laughs> Hold that position. Another now, thing that I absolutely around. love it you know for all like action movies basically. Whenever you have like the fuck was that? It sounded like a dinosaur or some shit. Anyways, whenever you have like the bad guys speaking among themselves and they speak in, you know, English but with heavy accents. Like why the hell would they not just be speaking in Russian? <laughs> Oh, it's got a... That was pretty cool. A knife with a fucking bullet hidden in the, the hilt. Alright, we got this. Gonna take her the hell out, no problem at all. I'm I'm positive of it. Uh, it'd help if I <laughs> could do the controls. Can we can we shoot her more than once or no? Okay, uh, that didn't seem to work. Since I was born, I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my life. My family. Ow, dude, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Now I wanna I wanna aim over over the thing, please. Uh, I guess maybe I gotta stand up. So she's on her side, I'm on my side. This is a neat idea for a boss. You're not stopping us. I think I am, man. Just throwing that out there. Do I just keep switching sides back and forth? Ah oh, shit. Ow, no, bitch. <laughs> Why does she have two health bars? One like the purple one and then the... Does that, does that stop me from like auto locking? I'm assuming that stops me from like auto locking onto her. How is she hitting me right now? I can't even see her. Okay. Is that a grenade? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I do not consent to grenades to the face. I'm assuming, like, maybe one's an actual health bar, the, and then the purple one's, like, the a trank bar or something. One is health, one is stamina. I can do every boss non-lethally. Got it. That's kind of what I was thinking, yeah. Damn it. Stop with the grenades, man. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't think I can hit her from there. Oh, nice dodge roll, dude. Uh, that grenade, I literally laid down on it. <laughs> Holy fuck me, dude. That was fucking stupid as hell. Okay. Thank God we still have rations. It's fine. Can I shoot out that light? I would really like to shoot out that fucking light, because I can't see shit with it over there. Can you go, like, somewhere I can shoot you, maybe? Stop with the fucking grenades holy fuck dude that light is so bright uh wait i have grenades on my own don't i grenade that neutralizes electronic devices temporarily uh yes please i really hope i threw it far enough okay that didn't seem to do shit <laughs> grenade that stuns enemy soldiers okay 
I was trying to like put out that light, but I guess maybe it doesn't work that way. Uh, can I please take out the fucking light? Thank fuck, dude. I'm really glad our stun gun's good enough for that, at least. <laughs> come on, come on. I'm taking you the fuck out. You're fucked. Just get over it. Oh, of course you would have iframes, man. Stick your head out there again. GG. <laughs> Thank God we're on normal mode, too. If I wasn't on normal mode, I would have been so screwed. I feel like I did so poorly at that boss fight. But she's down. And we did it without killing her, I'm pretty sure. Now, I gotta ask Chocobo, before we finish up, have you played the other Metal Gear games, like Metal Gear 1 and, and you know, the ones after that? Because I am, admittedly, I am actually enjoying this one. Um, like, a lot. So I wouldn't mind playing the first one and, and doing the whole series at some point. And I feel like I would understand this one story-wise a lot more if I played the other one. So it's worth it then, in your opinion? I, I'm, I'm assuming, since you played all of them. And you suggested this one. Controls are whack as fuck. You done good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pick up Metal Gear Solid One for PC or for PC for uh for PlayStation and play it. It's going on the list. It's gonna happen. Control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich. One of Ocelot's allies. Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Gru Ocelot Colonel. was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. Fuck, dude, see? <laughs> God, I want to know the story from the first one now. Be as simple as we thought. Yeah, you could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't going to be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? So it was a trap. Which, I mean, start now? I, the thing uh, at the beginning kind of uh, have a sister, made me think so. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So... The sender of the tip was E.E. Three is the best, but they're all e. good. E. Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. E. Emma? Emmerich? Yeah, it just caught my eye, you know? I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's Who calls really your no sister or stepsister E.E.? E. When was the last time you saw her? I always call my stepsister E.E. Yeah, exactly. You Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marines M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't Ten bucks says it's not a coincidence? Oh, I'm positive. I hear you. Right in the beginning of this mission, uh, somebody was staring us down and being like, our boy's here right on time. So, like, I, I just assumed, you know, that... <laughs> that, uh... Yeah. <laughs> All right. What do we got? We got some rations. We'll definitely pick that up. Time is almost up for the night, but this is, like I said, it's for sure going to go on the list of games that I need to beat. Um, what are... So there's Metal Gear Solid 1 is on PS1. 3... What was that on? 3 was on PS2 as well, right? Or was that up to PS3 at that point? Originally for the PlayStation 2, okay. And then 4 was on PS3, I'm assuming. And then 5 is PS4, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 5. Phantom Pain. Okay, okay. So really, I just need to get a hold of the first one. And then we'll probably uh, get on from there. Because I, I, I think we're going to end up playing this entire series. I see that happening. She has items on her. Okay, let's pick her up. I'm assuming we get items from her just like we do everyone else. 
Is that like a file on her or something? I remember seeing in the menu. Uh, dog tags. That's what it was. M9 bullets. Cool. So that's for the USP. And I'm thinking that's probably it. Oh, I forgot about PlayStation Now. Good, uh, good call out there. And then I wonder... Do I still have... I used to have a list of all of my games. I didn't keep it up to date, but, um... My games. There's the list. Awesome. Control F. Metal Gear. Ground Zero. Phantom Pain. Revengeance. Metal Gear Solid. Dope. Okay, I do actually have Metal Gear Solid uh, for the PlayStation Mini. That little PlayStation Mini console they did that, you know, wasn't exactly considered awesome by most people because it used PAL versions of a lot of games. But anyways, it has it on there, so that's a way that I can play it soon. I wouldn't even mind maybe doing that on stream one of these days if it's something people want to see. If not, then I'll just play it on my own time. That's fine, too. All right, so we got an actual gun now. Is that something we want to use? Because, I mean... Okay, well, right now we don't have any ammo for it, but... The, the the tranquilizers are working pretty well for us in most cases. Oh, that rain effect is disgusting. That is so bad. <laughs> it looks normal, or it looks fine normally, but whenever it's, like, right up against the wall like that, the way it's balling up and whatnot, that's, uh, that's not great. If you get enough dog tags, you get game-breaking items. That's sick. That's something that I wish they would do more often in, in modern games. Is, like, uh... Cheat codes and game-breaking items and just stupid stuff. Blink Snake. <laughs> hey, Noodle, thanks so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Is there anything at the top top? If nothing else, it's probably a decent vantage point to shoot down from. You only have 20 left? Go to the crow's nest? That's the plan. I mean, you gotta, right? You know they're gonna be hiding stuff up here. I'm assuming that's thermite <laughs> or a thermal grenade. So like maybe thermite in a grenade. Magazine stungy. Press square button to hold release to throw a hush strong. Oh, do we use those as like a distraction or something? Throwing empty magazines. Okay. So it's not there. Is it in this list? Oh, thermal goggles. Allows one to see in the dark. Claymores can be seen when used. That's cool. That's nasty. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I could... Okay, so probably the sort of thing you don't want to be wearing all the time, but... Sensor detecting life forms vibrates on enemy approach. That's kind of neat, I guess. Cigarettes, highly addictive. Is there a, bo a benefit to, to smoking in this game? I forget which one it is, but I know there's a benefit in one of the games for, for smoking. Oh, hi. Um, <laughs> uh, you look cooler. <laughs> All right, then. Um, can we, like, get off this ride? Okay, cool, we can. We can stop at any point. Excellent, because, um, yeah... Metal Gear Solid 5, it passes time. Okay. I thought I thought there was something. I thought there was something more than that, too, to be honest. But I wasn't positive. Fuck. That was a great miss by me. Is there a way to invert the controls? We don't have much time left tonight anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But next time, whenever I get back around to playing this game, I'm going to have to try and see if there's a way to invert controls. Dude, what? I, I shot you. <laughs> Just go down, you dick. Holy hell. He's down. It's fine. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, Rue is not a fan. All right. Real talk, though, guys. Um, is Metal Gear something you all want to see more of? Because I want to know, I, as I've mentioned a couple times, I've been looking for a game to play outside of stream, um, other than Final Fantasy VII Remake, because I need to I need to finish that first. But uh, after that, I'm seriously considering playing Metal Gear One on the PlayStation One, 
or or the collection version for that I have on PlayStation Now, one or the other. Um, so is that something that you guys want to see played, or is that something that that I should just play on my own time? Either either option's perfectly fine with me. I just want to know what you guys want before I go and do anything on my own. You're in. You're down? Okay, we got two people down. I Noodle doesn't care. She hardly pays attention anyway, so <laughs> I don't think she's going to care. All right. Not sure what we're down for, but sure. See, like I said, hardly pays attention anyways. Knew that was coming. How long's the first one? I did look this one up during one of the, the breaks, and uh, I saw that this one is only like 15 hours long. That's not even that long. How long is the other one? Uh, HLTB Metal Gear Solid. If this one's only 15 hours, I can't imagine it's too long. Yeah, 13 hours on average. So that's not bad. That will be go on the list. I think for the next game that we're going to, to complete on stream, um, as part of the PlayStation block, technically PlayStation 2, but it doesn't have to be. Um, I think what I'm going to do instead of just choosing myself is I'm just going to pick like four or five different games and let everyone vote on it. And then we'll just do whatever everyone wants to see. So I think Metal Gear, the first one's probably going to go on that list. I think that's a pretty decent idea. It'll give me a reason to actually use my PlayStation Mini too, which will be fun because I've done, you know, basically nothing with it <laughs> at this point. I played like one game on it and that's that's basically it. All right, uh, before we go, let's go ahead and save. Whenever we get, a back, get back around to playing this game, I'm positive we're going to you wanna save start a snake? new game. Because, uh, you know, just so everyone can catch up with where we're at and, and things. But, memory card slot one. There we go. Let's get a save in there. Thank you for recommending this game, uh, Chocobo. I definitely would have gotten around to it sooner or later anyways, but I, I did end up enjoying it, which I mentioned before. I was really worried about not liking it, and I do. It's actually a really fun time. Compared to Siphon Filter, dude, this is it's night and day. Siphon Filter, so bad con compared to this. Oh, I figured you'd need a lot of motivation, so I came prepared. Wait, it's every time we save, does he just give us cheesy the book, not the motivational anyway, quotes? <laughs> it means that if you go up against everyone by yourself, they'll gang up on you too, I think. Since you're on your own on that ship, you need to take this to heart and avoid confrontations. How is that? Just like the old days, huh? Almost reminds me of Mei Ling. But you sure you got it right? Of course. What is this? This is cheesy as shit, right. dude. <laughs> That's... Oh my god. They definitely packed the game full of character. I'll say that much. But alright, guys. Uh, Anything else that I needed to bring up before we end the stream tonight? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, The... the one more time, the poll is still going on. Like I said, I think everyone's pretty much voted on it already that planned on voting on it. But if anyone hasn't, there's the link again uh, for that. We only have one or two weeks left of Odin Sphere from the looks of it. So I'm going to have to get a link or a list together soon so that we can all vote on what game we want to complete for the, the PlayStation Gauntlet, PlayStation Block, whatever the fuck we want to call it. Uh, it'll probably be either this game sly cooper that's going to be on the list for sure because i was having a lot of fun with that one and then if you guys have any other recommendations for shorter games stuff like i don't know maybe we do about four hours give or take every week i would like to be able to complete it within a month so like 16 hours or less essentially like 16 hours is the maximum amount of time that i want to spend on a game for just for a couple months you know so we can so we can get through some stuff so if anybody has any ideas for that let me know and we'll throw that on the list as well oh resident evil 4 that's another one that i've been meaning to beat on the uh the playstation how long is that one resident evil 4 the original on playstation 20 hours that one might be a little bit long but i don't know i don't know we'll figure that out later Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me. I do appreciate you all being here. Uh, my mind is fried right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> Jack 2 is only off by two hours, just saying. If it's, you know, a little bit over... Like, I would even consider maybe Resident Evil 4. Maybe at 20 hours. But, uh, yeah. Jack 2, man. I love the original Jack. But Jack 2 just wasn't, wasn't doing it for me. So, I don't know. 
I don't know, but I want to beat it sooner or later, so it's got to be done, right? <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah, we are signing off, so everyone have a good night. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. We can... I could have swore you can use the, the guns just kind of a little more freeform than what it's letting us do.